Hello everybody, welcome to another leadership class. Today we'll be talking about living for Jesus even till death. Living for Jesus even till death. Okay, so um, before we dive in, we're going to be talking. I'm um, taking a song by BRI, Bri. I will be the one. Like I said, we'll be talking about leaving for Jesus until the very end. Um, the song says, I'll be the one, Lord. I'll be the one. You can use me. You can make me yours. You can send me out. I'll be the one. So just let's be the ones that God uses. So the um, it says in Revelation 2 verse 10, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. As a leader, there's a lot of things you're going to suffer. You're going to go through a lot of stuff. And it's really important that you you know that it's worth it. You, I need to let you know that as a leader, there's a lot of things you're going to go through. And you should know that it's worth it. If you put yourself in a place where you're, you're running with a constant mindset that it's worth it. All this I'm going through, it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Said, Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that he may be tried. When God provides you with an insight of what to do, you're going to preach the gospel fine, but you're assuming things God is going to put on your table. You're going to have a lot of things you're going to do, and you're going to do it the Christian way. And that way, the devil is going to make sure you sometimes you may end up in prison. The devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried. Your faith will be tried as a Christian. Get ready, get ready, dear soldier. Get ready, Christian leader. Your faith will be tried. And ye shall have tribulations. Ten days. Be faithful unto death. You have to get yourself ready for death. You have to get yourself ready for situations that concern death. But the most important thing is this. How do I get myself ready for death? You cannot die for someone you don't know. You have to spend quality relationship, quality time with God to be able to die for him, to be able to die for the gospel. You cannot die for what you don't know. So I'm encouraging you today to spend more time in the presence of God. I know that. Yes, I'm ready for this. Yes, I'm ready to die for the gospel. Yes, I'm ready to die for what I believe in. Be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life. God is going to give you a crown of life. God is going to give each and every one of us a crown of life. As we put ourselves in a place where we can die for the gospel, we end up with a crown of life. Revelation 2 verse 10. So be heaven-minded as a leader. You know that there's a scripture that says where your heart is, where your treasure is, where your heart is. When you make sure that every single thing you have is heaven-bound, like what you're doing, the things you do, and every single thing you do, your your, your most of the things you spend your time in doing, you're making sure like you're heaven bound. You're making sure like it's heaven is the reason why you're doing what you do. At the end of the day, you're heaven bound. At the end of the day, 
you're, you're, you're like mindless, you're like senseless about what you do. You're carefully giving yourself over to the work of God. You're carefully giving yourself over to the ordeals of the Heavenly Father. So it's really important that you're heaven bound. Put yourself in a place that I'm going to serve God with all of my heart, with all of my soul, with all of my being. I'm, I'm not afraid. I'm going to serve Him every single day of my life. And that way you're consciously putting yourself in a place where you're heaven bound. Okay? So let eternal things consume you. Be consumed by eternal things. Let the things of God consume you. How do you get consumed by the things of God? By spending quality time with God. By having that covenant relationship with God. By taking out time, like five minutes in the morning, five minutes at night. You know, little by little. Then you grow up to an hour, 12 hours. Sometimes you can even say, I want to spend like three days. You take a retreat and spend time in the presence of God. And it gives you the insight about your life. You did not make yourself. God made you in his own image. So go to your maker and figure out your life. Go to him and it's going to help you out, sort out yourself. It's important you go to God to fix your life. So, um, and so he that received five talents came and brought other five talents and said, Lord, Thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will give thee ruler over many things. I just want to skip over to the last verse and says, Cast ye the unprofitable servant into utter darkness. There shall be Weeping and gnashing of teeth. Matthew chapter 5 is 24 to 30. So in this place, it was about servants that God gave talents to. And he came back and asked for his talents from your hands. And some were fruitful and some were not. And all those who were not productive were cast into hell. He said, cast ye the unprofitable servant. We need to be profitable in what we do. We need to be profitable in all our ordeals. In living for Jesus, you will be tried as a leader. I said that before. You're going to be tried. You're going to be tried. You're going to be tried several times. Because why? A lot of people have gotten to where they are by hard work. By their self-work. By bowing down to the devil. By using demonic powers. But you are there. You're doing things in a simple way. And they're going to see there and ask you and say, How are you doing this? What powers are you using? What makes you be able to do this? What authority? They're going to try you. And when you say Jesus, they do not want to believe because they have to, they have to lose their life. I mean, their, their way of life to come to your own way of life. It's to test your true love for him. That comes with a reward. Be ready to give everything up for Jesus, including your life. He's worthy. Don't give up in trials and tribulations you will face as a leader. Remain strong and steadfast to death. Get closer to Jesus today. I encourage you today as you get closer to Jesus. You cannot die for who you do not know. As the one you spend more time with, you'll be able to get an insight of him. Excuse me. So I just want to encourage you all. Um, I know we are all leaders, Christian leader in one way or the other. And your issues you're going through, I can just pray with you. You can just like stretch out your hand with mine and we can just connect spiritually. Say, Lord Jesus, I can meet every leader out there going through one thing or the other. Like it's hard. Like Life is sometimes hard. We don't even know what we're going to do, how we're going to leave this life, Lord. We need your strength day and night, Lord. Help us. Lord, give us the strength to leave as leaders. To, to be able to leave to the very end. We're confused about so many things. So many things are distracting so many people. As I pray for every single one of us today, Lord, give us the grace to leave to the very end. To stay strong and steadfast. To serve you as a leader and not be found wanting. Lord, give us the strength 
that will be your chosen one to the very end and will bring results to you in Jesus' name. Let us stick to the very end, O Lord. And for those of us who are not Christians, you can say these words after me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Come and make me yours. Come and be my Lord and my Savior. Help me live for you for the rest of my life. Let me serve you all of my heart, all of my soul, all of my mind. Let me be able to give every single thing to service to you, Lord. Lord, help me. Give me the strength to serve you with all of my heart. Amen. Get a Bible. Join a Bible-believing church. Get a... Pray, read your Bible, get worship songs that can help you with worship time. The Lord help you and give you the strength to serve Him. I just want to read a couple more scriptures to encourage every leader out there. Don't give up. I mean, sorry. How sweet are thy words unto my taste? Yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Psalm 119, verse 103. John 14, verse 14 says, Ask ye anything, my name, and I will do it. Lord, help me to stick with you. To the very end. Now's your prayer. You'll be praying. Romans chapter 8 verse 38 to 39 says one thing. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor demons, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ our Lord. Romans 8 verse 38 to 39. So nothing should be able to separate us. Be strong and of good courage. Fear not. Be not be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, He is thy, He is, it is, I mean, oh, He it is that go with thee. It will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. This is Numbers thirty-one verse six. You need to know that when you're doing what you do, you're not doing in your own strength. You're going the will of God. And he will give you strength for the journey. And beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith the virtue and the virtue knowledge. As a leader, you need to keep on improving in yourself. As a leader, you need vision, which comes from a closer relationship with Jesus. God bless you. You are the light of the world, a city set on a hill that cannot be hid. As a lot you go through as a leader, but it gets better as you depend more on grace. Second Corinthians 12 verse 9 says, my grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in your weakness. God bless you. Who did it? Jesus. Oh my God. Wow. So we're going to finish. We're going to take finish up. I mean, finish up this session by, um, by continuing a piece of the song. I'll be the one.